All right, so I was taking this Lionel switcher for a quick test drive around the layout before doing this video, and we had a little problem. Now, I ran this unit two years ago, and well, I think I only ran it once, and it's been sitting in the box ever since. And uh, take it out. It was like two feet <laughs> and the uh, traction tire is off the wheel so we're gonna see if we can get this traction tire back in there although well if I still have problems with it I'll have to go get a spare or use a spare but a uh, very peculiar Situation I've never had to miss with traction tires, never had one come off the train. So, not sure what that was about, but I guess sometimes things happen. I don't know if this one's going to be usable. We'll see. And of course, I know it does provide spare traction tires, as do other manufacturers, but uh, I'd presume that'd be for when they wear out. All right, this is the original traction tire from the train. This is a replacement one. I mean, look at the difference in size there. <laughs> one fits easily inside the other. I don't know how this got all stretched out, out of whack. Well, we'll put on a new one, or at least we'll try. All right, so we have removed the two Phillips head screws from this side rail here. So now we need to remove said side rail. There we go. Okay, so now we have clear, direct access to our traction tire. Oh, there's a lot of lube in there. That's why I was sticking. Okay, traction tire replacements. Put on the bottom first. There we go. Make sure it's fully seated in there. Don't want this bad boy slipping out. I don't know if maybe that's what happened to the original tire. If it wasn't quite all the way seated and then it got scooped up on the side frame and stretched out. I don't know. I think that's it's on there. Better be on there. Going on over here. like a bump to it. Got that little bump out on one small part of the lip. Let's give it another little test run before we put that side plate back on. 
See if it see if it behaves itself. Staying in place. Try a little faster. Got it. All right, so new traction tire has been installed. Seems to be behaving itself, so we will go ahead and reinstall this side rail back in place. And then we should be good to go. Till I take this thing out of the box in another two years and another tire's messed up. <laughs> hopefully I didn't just hopefully I didn't just jinx myself. Yeah, I've never had a problem with a traction tire like that, so and this thing uh is the epitome of a low mileage engine. Like it literally has barely been used. Uh, you've seen my Strasburg videos, you know, I, you don't see this one very often. There's like one video on it when I got it two years ago, and uh, yeah, I think that's about it. If you want to be careful not to over tighten and strip out the screws, because you know, sooner or later, it's going to be time to replace another traction tire. All right. Well, that was a little. Distraction, but such is life. All right, so our Lionel Legacy SW8 Strasburg number 8618 back to 100%. This tire is trash, all good.